Hello everyone, hello and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we're back with episode 3 of Love Island The Game Season 6, otherwise known as Double Trouble. I'm very excited to get into this one. I feel like things are getting very spicy with Love Island and I'm really enjoying the season so far. I know a lot of you feel the same way from the comments and I really, really appreciate it. I've been replying to as many people as possible, so if I've missed you, I'm really, really sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. And just leave another comment and I'm sure I'll get back to you. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please give this video a like if you find yourself enjoying it and subscribe to see more. But without further ado, let's get in to episode 3 of Double Trouble. This part is called Amelia's Choice. Enjoy a romantic date with your partner before Amelia gets her turn. Welcome back to Love Island. You're just in time. Grubs up. The Islanders are about to be served a helping of flirty banter on their first dates. And the boys will be getting seconds on a cheeky date with bombshell Amelia. Will the girls be enough of a feast for the boys' eyes? Or will getting a taste of Amelia send their heads spinning? You and the other Islanders have arrived back from the challenge stage. The girls are stunned by the bombshell news that Amelia will be also dating their boys. Well, 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 looks like it's my lucky night. Don't fill up on your first dates, lads. Gotta leave room for dessert. Louis looks from Amelia to you, shifting uncomfortably. Sloppy seconds, more like. Oh, somebody sounds a bit nervous. Um, no. After a date with me, boys don't need dessert because they've fallen asleep. I have been known to tire a guy out if that's what you mean. All right, girlies, love the energy, but let's save it for the dates, yeah? Yeah, that's enough bark. Time for a bite, let's go. Bella blows a kiss to her boy and the girls make their way to the dressing room. Before you reach the villa, Amelia pulls you to one side. Hey, Robin, come over here quick. I wanted to talk to you about these dates. Obs in the real world, I would never take your guy out. So I guess I just wanted to know where your head's at right now. How do you feel about me going on a date with Louis? I don't even know what to think. I don't know how to feel about it, to be honest. On one hand, it's still early days and we're not married off, but we're coupled up and I'm not sure I want to be competing with you. I get it, it's awkward for me too, but I've got to get to know the boys too. I'll try and keep my hands to myself. Just try. I'll try extra hard for you. I love you and I don't want anything to come between us. Especially a bloke. You trust me, right? Ugh, of course I do. I don't. You're my sister, of course I trust you. I mean, if I can't trust you, who can I trust? Exactly, we're in this together. Gotta have each other's backs. Anyway, I don't think it's me you should be worrying about. Do you think Louis's head can be turned or will he stay loyal? He's loyal. I think Louis is genuinely loyal. Louis's eggs are firmly in my basket. His head isn't turning for anyone else. I know that for certain. Well, that's great. Then you won't mind us getting to know each other. To be honest, it's probably best that none of us get too attached. It's very early days, anything can happen in the villa, especially on a date with me. Speaking of which, we better go get ready. I'm going to look fire. Come on, we can help each other with our fits. Amelia takes you by the hand, practically bouncing with excitement as you head for the dressing room. I am so excited to see these outfits. I've been really looking forward to this from like day one, so let's see the nighttime outfits. Amelia skips into the dressing room like a ball of energy. You join her and the other girls as they frantically get ready for their dates. Looking good, girls. Oh, bold choice, Ivy. Bold? I was going for elegant. She's just messing with you. Very funny. Don't worry, you're all looking stupid. Stunning. We have to, don't we? Got some competition on our hands. Well, you're nearly making this hard for me. Only nearly. Someone's getting a bit cocky. I'd say more quietly confident, not that quiet. I'm not stressed. You may be a bombshell, but Ozzy's eyes are on the prize. You think Ozzy likes what he sees? Have you seen me? Any man would be a fool to turn this down. Damn straight. Well, Ryan is all about me too. Sparks are flying, that's for sure. There's sparks and then there are fireworks and I'm gonna put on a show. Are you kidding me? Wow, now I'm nervous. Yeah, I didn't realise you were going to play dirty. I mean, it's not all that. Aw, Ivy, you're too kind. Well, now you girls know what you're up against. I'll leave you to it. Good luck. Amelia struts out of the dressing room. The girls struggle to hide their concern as they watch her go. Well, the game really is on now. Especially for you, Robin. Don't get caught slacking, girls. We need to get on top of our game. Exactly, I'm going all out. What do we think of this, girls? That actually suits us. So well, to a T. Stunning. Oh, I'm lost for words. I can think of a few. Give us a chance. You have to wear it, right? I do want to see what the other looks are. 
but I think I have to go for that one. That is beautiful. Okay, so this is the one that the game comes with, which is interesting. We also have this, which does look a bit casual. This is a bit, I don't know, I quite like it. We have this, and then we have this, and I feel like the flared jumpsuit might definitely be the way to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the jumpsuit, and also the pip hookah shell necklace, is that what they're called? I think that just adds to it. The other necklace that I think is absolutely gorgeous with this is this one. I just think it suits her so well. And the, oh, do I go for that one instead? I might have to go for that one instead. I love it. So this is the, the final outfit. 36 gems, but I can't avoid it. That jumpsuit is gorgeous. Something tells me we are gonna get a lot of wear out of it though. Now this look will make an impact. Impact, more like big bang, hun. The girls check themselves in the mirror, helping each other with the final makeup touches. Right, it's date time. All right, girls, good luck out there. I don't need luck. Ooh, all right, more luck for me then. The girls sashay out of the dressing room, glammed up and ready for romance. You and the girls arrive at a decadent, decorated date spot. Hello, boys. The boys are waiting patiently at the dinner tables. Their eyes light up when they see you all. Hello, Robin. All the boys' heads turn to you, jaws hitting the floor. Yeah, hello, Robin. Hey, keep your eyes on your own girl, buddy. Tirai, eyes on the prize. Sorry, sorry, oh, you look stunning, Ivy. You're gonna have to do better than that. The girls take their seats as you make your way over to the table. Louis stands and pulls your chair out with a gentlemanly bow as you take a seat. My lady. Sitting opposite you, he can't hide his beaming smile as he takes it all in. So, you like what you see? I mean, in that outfit, how can I not? You're certainly a sight for sore eyes and that's putting it lightly. Um, what if you weren't putting it lightly? Well, in that case, I'd say you look incredible when you're an absolute 10 out of 10 worldie. But I couldn't possibly say that, I gotta play it cool. Oh, you're playing it cool, are you? As a cucumber, but I can't lie, I am pretty excited. For a date with me? Of course, a date with the most gorgeous girl in the villa. The way I see it, things couldn't get any better. Are you excited to be on a date with me? I am hyped. I am so pumped for this. I mean, I did pick you for a reason. Well, I can't wait to find out what it is. Well, that would be telling. Can't give everything away. That sounds like a challenge. Well, you're definitely worth grafting for. Can't wait to get to know you. Like the real you? The real me? What does that mean? Well, obviously you're a beautiful girl and you're really funny. I could tell straight away there's something special about you. Louis looks into your eyes as he pours each of you a drink. I'm really looking for someone I can be completely open with and share everything. So you're an open book then? I can ask you absolutely anything. For you, yeah, try me. What is your guilty pleasure? Okay, I wanna know what your guilty pleasure is. Oof, straight into it. Okay, I'll spill the tea. But you can't laugh, no promises there. I love rom-coms, I can't get enough of them. Really? Honestly, a tub of ice cream, popcorn, and a rom-com is my ideal night. Look at me dishing out all my secrets. You've cast some kind of spell on me already. How about you? I wanna know what makes you tick. Well, what do you wanna know? Everything? Might need to be a bit more specific. Um, okay, what do you want for breakfast? That's random. Well, if I don't ask, how will I know what to make you in the mornings? You're gonna make me breakfast? Of course. So, what is your favorite breakfast? Anything you desire. Oh, okay, well, my favorite breakfast is... Oh my god, I'm so tempted to say a birthday cake. Oh, why not? A chocolate birthday cake. Okay then, I want a chocolate birthday cake. A birthday cake? Where am I supposed to get that? You said anything, I say, let me eat cake. Your wish is my command. Why stop at birthday cake? Could go for wedding cake. Could call it a practice run. Someone's jumping to conclusions. Birthday cake it is then. So, got any other questions for me? I could tell you my favorite snack. Well, that's obviously me. I wanna cut a bit deeper. What are you looking for in your perfect partner? I'm looking for a best friend. I want my partner to be my best friend, someone I can crack jokes with and have a laugh, but also someone I can share everything with. I feel exactly the same way. Obviously, sexual attraction needs to be there. But if your partner isn't your best friend, then it's not gonna last. Well, who knows? Maybe after this, we could be besties. I'm counting on it. Two peas in a pod. You've never found that person then? Not really, no. I guess that's why I'm here. I think a lot of people look at me and see some typical football lad. They think I'm just some player that's looking for a trophy girl to take about town. But honestly, I'm the opposite. I've only ever really been in long-term relationships. And I'd much rather be cuddled up on the sofa watching soaps than out. But so far, I haven't found that person to go the distance with. And that's what I'm looking for. The real deal. So, do you think that person could be me? I mean, it's still early days. 
but you are saying all the right things and ticking all the boxes right now. You're stunning and exactly my type on paper too. I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel sparks between us. How about you? Do you think I could be your dream guy? You've defo got potential. It's still early days. I mean, it's literally day one. But you've definitely got the potential to be. Potential, huh? Well, hopefully I can realise that potential. Plenty more surprises to come. Guess I'll have to wait and see then. Speaking of surprises, a twin in the villa. Yeah, obviously my date with Amelia is coming up. Do you want to talk about my date with her or just leave it? I want to talk about it. Also, can we just talk for a second about how some of the options for our couples and talking to our partner are free? I think that's so cool. I think it's definitely a change and it means that we can personalise the game a lot better towards what we like. I want to talk about it. Yeah, let's get into it. Better to address it than ignore it. I guess it is the elephant in the room. Obviously, we are coupled up now. I don't want to do anything to disrespect you. But I also don't want to ignore Amelia and be rude. So what do you plan to do on your date with her then? To be honest, I don't have a plan. I've been enjoying my time with you so much I'd forgotten all about it. I'm hoping I have a nice time with her, of course. I do want her to like me at least. Not like-like, but you know what I mean. Especially if me and you are going to be together. But to be honest, this date has already knocked my socks off. And right now, I'm all about you. I'm glad we talked about this though. I don't want to worry you. I wouldn't want to do anything to spoil this date. Guess our date's nearly coming to an end. Feels like we're just getting started. What if it doesn't have to end yet? Should we sneak off for some extra time alone before Amelia gets here? It's a 17 gem option, but I am tempted. Let's sneak off. I'm doing this for you. So that at the very least, you can see what the options are. Let's do it. Amelia can wait a little longer. I'm not done with you just yet. I'm all yours. Louis takes you by the hand, looking over his shoulder as he leads you away. Louis leads you over to the swing seats for a sneaky romantic chat. I'm so glad we have more time together. I wasn't ready to end that date. Louis scooches up to you, placing his arm around your shoulders. Just me and you, under the stars with no one to bother us. So what do you want to do with all this privacy then? Well, I know what I want to do, but we might need to get to know each other a bit more before we get into that. No. Well, what would you do on a date normally if it was up to you? Well, a girl like you deserves something above and beyond. I'd pick you up in a slick little convertible and we'd take it down to the coast. We'd go for a walk on the beach and then head up on a boat trip to soak up the sun. Then when we're back on land, we can hit the cocktail bars and go for a lavish meal. And as the sun sets, we can head down to the sand with a bottle of wine. Maybe a little kiss under the stars if we're lucky. Then if we're feeling naughty, we could take a little skinny dip in the sea. We'd have to hold each other for warmth of course, see where the night takes us. Would you want to go on a date with me? Would you want to go on a date with me? Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. I would 100% want to do that. Well then, it's a date. You know, there's no reason we couldn't make this a dream first date. And how do you propose we do that? Well, right now, I'm just dreaming of a kiss. We could snog his face off, peck on the cheek, cheeky cuddle or not tonight. I'm not going to lie to you. If the option came up for more than a kiss, I probably would have taken it. I don't know why. But I feel like even if things don't work out with Louis, Amelia, whoops, Freudian slip, Robin is easygoing enough to be like, yeah, we can hook up and then so what if it doesn't work out? It's fine. It doesn't matter. It was a good time while it lasted. Let's snog his face off. Let's see if we can get that option. Come here, you. You pull Louis in for a passionate kiss. The two of you are completely lost in the moment. He sweeps your hair back behind your ear as he pulls you in close holding your waist firmly. The kiss feels like it lasts both forever and ends too soon. As he pulls away, he looks into your eyes and smiles giddily. Couldn't imagine a better date. And don't worry, Louis, you might not have to. Was looking all over for you lovebirds. We were looking for some privacy. Sorry to crash, but it looks like it's my turn for a date. Don't worry, you'll get him right back, Robin. The other girls return from their dates heading over to you. Come on, Robin, we need a debrief. Grace offers her hand as you and the girls head back towards the villa. Louis smiles nervously as Amelia takes his hand and leads him away. The girls are buzzing after their romantic first dates as you head to the beanbags for a much needed catch up. Okay, ladies, how'd it go? Tell me everything. That was like the most romantic thing ever. This is going to sound proper melty, but I think that might be the best date I've ever had. Oh, really? Ozzy was such a gent and talk about hottie. Ooh, did things heat up then? Oh yeah, he had me sweating in a good way. Sweating? Ew. Sounds pretty sexy to me. Well, my date involved no sweat, but I must admit he was ticking some boxes. You mean the actual boxes on your checklist? Exactly. Polite, well-mannered, good eye contact, hell of a flirt. Two nipples, eyebrows, the perfect amount of armpit hair. Ha. 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 
hair. But he does have the correct amount of armpit hair, yes. I have to see this checklist. I can't believe this is the real thing. So you fancy him then, Ivy? He's definitely up there. I saw his romantic side for sure. But he has plenty more boxes to tick before I go as far as fancy. That's a high bar just for fancying. I fancy everyone. You seen these boys? How about you, Bella? Jamal ticking your boxes? I don't know if he's ticking anything, but he was tickling my funny bone like it was nobody's business. I haven't barely laughed like that in ages. Actually, I barely laugh at everything. He's funny, that's my point. And a proper flirt too, he definitely knows how to flatter a girl. What about your date, Robin? Were there sparks? Or is Louis still up for grabs? It was good. It was actually amazing. Sparks were flying. We even snuck off to get some privacy. He was telling me about that dream date that he wants to take me on. He wanted to know who my dream partner would be and he said he'd do whatever it takes. Aw, that sounds so romantic. Yeah, makes my date sound basic. Maybe I was just on a date with the wrong person. Bella shoots you a cheeky smile. Sounds like you were ticking the right boxes. Although, you know what that means. What does it mean? Well, he is on a date with your twin right now. If he fancies you, then couldn't that mean he'll fancy her too? Ivy? Well, I'm just being honest. It's possible his head could be turned. Just because they're identical doesn't mean they're the same. Yeah, but they are the same type on paper, just saying. Look, anyone's head could be turned. It's day one. We're here to have fun and get to know people. If Jamal wants to get to know Amelia, then I say go ahead. I'm not gonna prang out about it. Plus, I know he fancies the pants off me. Me too, but I trust Ozzy to be a gent. Well, Robin, she's your sister. Do you think Amelia will be able to turn Louis's head? I think she could. I think it's possible. It's still day one, anyone is fair game. Amelia did seem super confident too. I don't think she's holding back. I don't really care what Ryan does, to be honest. Just then, laughter echoes around the villa. The girl's head spin to the villa doors as Amelia steps out onto the lawn. She has Ryan on one arm, Jamal on the other, and Louie and Ozzy trailing behind. The boys all have beaming smiles on their faces. Speak of the devil. Is he having a laugh? Why are they all so smug? I can't believe this. Seems like you do care a little bit, Ivy. The girls jump up from their beanbags and rush over to face Amelia and the boys. Amelia struts confidently towards you. The boys unlink their arms with her as they near the girls. Having fun, are we? So much fun. You girls have some real charmers on your hands. We know. How are your dates then? You know, the usual. Flirting, fooling around, falling in love. In love? That was quick. I move fast. I'm only messing, but we had a good time, didn't we, boys? Yeah. Sure? Yep. Louis says nothing. He stood just out of sight behind Amelia. She's got him, hasn't she? She has got that boy good. I tried not to get attached. The boys shift around uncomfortably, exchanging awkward glances between them. One boy in particular was a real surprise. Louis steps out from behind Amelia to face you. His eyes light up when he sees you. Hey Robin! Then all the girls see it, a big red lipstick mark planted right on his cheek. Um, Louie, what is on your face? Amelia's phone pings. I've got a text! Islanders, please make your way to the fire pit as Amelia is about to couple up with a boy, leaving one girl single. Hashtag decision time. Hashtag uncouple. Yay. Here we go. We got this, girls. Stay strong. Don't worry, I can't have all of them. Yet. Louis looks worriedly at you as the islanders make their way to the recoupling. No! No! Looks like Amelia managed the big Fs on her date with the boys. Flirting, fooling around. Falling in love. Oh yes, and flipping kissing her sister's mister. But which fella will she couple with at the fire pit? Find out next time on Love Island. No, I'm sorry. Okay, right. A kiss on the cheek. It's fine. It's fine. It's not ideal, but it's okay. Like, we're fine with that. But the fact that he was being shady about it, the fact that he was hiding behind her because he knew that we were going to get upset about it. That's the problem. I cannot stand dishonesty. What the heck? This might rule Louie out for us full stop. Am I just trying to make myself feel better? Yes. Is it working? No. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Did you enjoy this episode? Do you think Louie is going to couple up with Amelia or do you think she's going to pick someone else? I kind of hope she's going to pick Ryan just to annoy Ivy, but I kind of feel like Louie is 
exactly how to type on paper. The next volume of Love Island The Game, volume two, is now out. I will be getting that to you very, very soon. Thank you again for all of your support. If you did enjoy it, please give us a like, subscribe to see more, and you can turn on notifications so you know exactly when the next video is going to go live. I will see you in the next one for more Love Island. Bye, everyone.